Hello, uh, Herschel Pangborn here to demonstrate version 2.0 of a home irrigation system for watering plants. Um, there are two new things with this version. The first is that it runs exclusively on battery power, so you can see back here we have just a 9 volt battery that runs the whole deal. Um, and the other difference is right here, the LCD screen. So this allows us to get some feedback from the system without having to plug into a computer. Alright, so right now you can see the red LED here that indicates that the system is out of water. Um, so over here we have our pump and a water tank. Obviously, um, in real life you'd have a hose here going to your plant. Um, but for demo purposes I put it on the shelf just to make it a little bit easier to show you guys. Um, and then we also have in here our moisture sensor, which is basically just a power plug. Um, it's covered in dirt here because it's been buried, but yeah, it's just a, a power plug like you'd see for a wall, and you stick into the soil there. Alright, so once again our system is telling us it's out of water, so what we do is we'd refill the water, and then come over and we'd press our button here. And when I press the button, it'll start to water again. This green light indicates all systems go. Uh, so it won't actually water until I turn on the power to the pump. So I'll flip that, and there it goes, watering. Alright, so it'll water for about five seconds, and the LCD is actually going to cycle between three different stages. Hopefully you can see them. Um, one, it will show the voltages, so it'll compare the voltage being measured at the plant to the voltage uh, as set by the potentiometer adjustment knob. Alright, uh, screen two, it'll actually show you that it's watering the plant. And screen three, it'll tell you how much uh, time is left, time of watering is left in the tank. So right now if I want to maybe keep the soil a little drier, I can rotate the potentiometer. And next cycle it around, um, it'll choose not to water the plant because the voltage coming out of the uh, moisture sensor up here is not high enough. So as you can see, um, no longer watering the plant, it stopped. And when you see the comparison of the two voltages, hopefully you can see that on the screen, um, you would see that it's not high enough. And then if I turn this knob back up, uh, momentarily it'll start watering again. Let's see, so there's our pump once again. Um, the pump right now is just, you know, plugged into the 120 volt from the wall. You know, in a real system you probably want to get a lower voltage, a lower current pump, and then that's the kind of thing that you could plug right into a solar panel if you wanted to. And you could also run the Arduino with solar power pretty easy. Um, some next steps for this system, obviously the first thing you'd want to do would be, oh, there goes the pump again. All right. Uh, anyway, next steps, the first thing you'd want to do would be to enclose it, uh, waterproof it so that everything's really safe. You could just put it in your garden and leave it, not worry about rain and not worry about the, the pump getting anything wet. Um, another thing you could do is put a little Wi-Fi board on there, uh, get Facebook integration or iPhone and Android app integration. Um, so there we go. Um, that's just my demonstration of a working home irrigation system. Uh, if anyone has any questions, you're more than welcome to email me or contact me in any way. Thanks a lot. Bye.